Good morning, friends. I hope you are doing wonderful. Today is the sixth day of school. It is our first Miss Haney day. Miss Haney is the wonderful principal here at Parham Elementary. Every Wednesday she has an assembly. Uh, usually she has two grades at a time, rotates through the school today. Since it's the beginning of the year, she's doing all the students. Uh, the kids love it. They get a chance to connect with her. She gets a chance to talk about kindness, talk about leadership, read picture books, show trailers, pass out books. It's an amazing, amazing thing that she does. And then the reason she does it, number one, is for her to be able to connect with the kids and to still live that teacher life that she loves. But also, it gives the teachers an opportunity to meet and uh, talk about strategies to help our kids that are maybe struggling with something. So we'll meet with uh, a team of teachers in the morning and we will talk, bring up students that uh, were need help with and then we can brainstorm ideas how we can help them what we can do in the classroom and maybe if there's anything that we need to do outside of the classroom for them. so it's a great thing it's an awesome thing and i'm excited for the first miss haney day it's gonna be a great day Had some really nice reading conferences with kids this morning uh really interesting to hear about their reading year last year and the things that went well, things that didn't go well. Really cool to hear about some of the books that they loved. Uh, some kids struggled a little bit with finding books, finishing books last year, so it was interesting just to hear their stories and hear kind of what happened. So definitely making some progress uh, in terms of learning about my readers and what they're gonna need from me this year. Today we focused a lot on just talking about a reading life and talking about how readers build to read list and uh, I think they went really well. Uh, we watched a few book trailers. Kids were adding books to their to-read list. Here's one right here. Uh, we watched the Unwanted's book trailer and uh, Land of Stories book trailer. We watched a Dogman book trailer. We watched, I think, like five or six book trailers. And uh, the kids were adding some books. Kids were finding some books that they wanted to read, so that was good. Uh, definitely want to make sure that they're building that to-read list all year. It is Wednesday, and on Wednesdays, we have Miss Haney Day uh, every three weeks. So the schedule and the schedule is always a little different. So my kids are actually at special now, and they'll come back before lunch. So usually when I'm filming um, during lunch, uh, the room is clean. All the kids are things are taken care of. I thought it'd be fun to kind of walk you around the room, what it looks like um, when the kid, where all the kids' things are. It's kind of fun. So let's have a quick look. So here's our new stand-up desk. We have a few kids sitting here, standing here today. So we have some things here. Other baskets. We it's funny. Like third grade, you have kids reading Harry Potter. Right next to kids reading Ricky Ricotta. Some snacks out. I really want to steal some of those pretzels. Captain Underpants. Die of a Minecraft Zombie. Girl over here is reading 14th Goldfish. You can just kind of see it's a beautiful mess. Lots of kids like to hang out on the carpet. Some kids in the corner. Yeah, it's going pretty good. This has been this book's been really popular so far early in the year. Red's Planet. Kids are digging that graphic novel. Kids are at recess. Good morning. Uh, I'm about to get myself some food. Star I'm starving. Uh, reading The Honest Truth. Today we found out that Mark, the main character, has cancer. And the kids had uh, inferred that, but to hear it uh, was actually the case was really hard for them. Just thinking about a boy who just feels that he is headed towards his death is, uh, made for some interesting conversation. Uh, it was interesting to see them try to think about what that would be like and uh, got really quiet at times, um, but really good conversation. Great class. I read a little bit from Writing Radar by Jack Gantos. Chapter 8, we read Chapter 8, which is about taking the oath as a writer and it was really cool. Uh, Jack tells a cool story about going to the library and finding the spot where his book would one day be. I love that. I know some of my kids are going to do that the next time we get a chance to go to the library. The book that I added to the classroom library today, Clayton Bird Goes Underground by Rita Williams Garcia. Very much a Newbery contender, wonderful book. Um, I think this is a really special book and it was fun to book talk. I had a lot of hands shut up that wanted to read it. Brayden actually was the one who I handed it to and I had to go into his locker and borrow it so that I could show you. But a uh, really, really good book. Might actually read it aloud this year. Still thinking about that. Read Leave Me Alone, the Caldecott honor winning book. Super fun read aloud. It's pretty neat to have a room of 25 fifth graders shouting at the top of their lungs 
Leave me alone! Uh, early in the book, when I kind of gave them a signal to read it, they read it and kind of said it, but by the, towards the end, they were yelling and people were covering their ears. It was a good time. Books are all around. It's a good day to be a fifth grader, and it's a really good day to be a fifth grade teacher. Just finish up the one, two, three, four, five. Sixth day of school, uh, Wednesday. Today is our first early release Wednesday. Every Wednesday from the second week of school until the end of the school year, we get out at 2.30 instead of 3.30. Uh, kids get a chance to go home early, and we get a chance to work with our grade level team um, in some PLC, some PLC time. I love the PLC time. It's a great opportunity to connect and to work on looking at our data, making a plan for how we're going to help kids, how we're going to meet the needs of our kids that are struggling, and also how we are going to help the kids who got it. So it was great. And today's day was, it, was, it, was a, it kind of felt like a normal day, which this early in the school year, I haven't had a day that kind of felt like this is kind of what it might feel like when we settle in. So it feels good to be settling in. I almost didn't make a video. I was like, you know, just a normal day. Maybe I should just stop this, this vlogging streak now. But I, I do know that when I, I worry that when I stop, I'm just going to be done because it, it, it's a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of work. Um, and nothing I felt like that was just extraordinary and crazy and wild happened today. But I think that's kind of the point of doing these. Um, teaching is a day in, day out. Some days are going to have something that's unforgettable. Some days it's gonna be more of a grind and you're gonna love kids and you're gonna to read to them and you're gonna write with them and you're gonna do conferences and, and there'll be small moments and those moments are important, um, but every day matters. Every day is important. It doesn't matter if it's the sixth day of school, the 16th day of school, the 60th day of school. Every single day matters. You only get one shot at every day and every day that we have with our kids uh, means we have one less day. Never get this day back. So uh, I guess that's why I'm vlogging today because it was an important day. It was a really important day and I got to know my kids a little bit better and I got to read with them and I got to learn about them and their souls through their writing and I, I got to learn about them as readers uh, through reading conferences. So it was a good day. But I'm really tired. I'm so tired. I hope your day was awesome. Have a great day and happy, happy 